Yeah, you think that dodge will work for towing a <laughs> teardrop camper? Yeah, it's not about to dodge. Um, so, okay, we're pretty much uh, wrapping this baby up. I'm carrying the camera, so it'll be a little drifty, a little shaky. You see, they got the doors installed. Uh, the last video was me showing you how the door kind of fits in. And the beauty ring. Uh, it's already done. I kind of had to do it by myself. Uh, you remember I had a put a rain gutter up here, this piece of aluminum. I thought, well, I don't need to have chrome and black and paint and black and then white, which would be better if I paint the wheels black. Uh, so what I did is I just covered this and tape to give a little bit of a cosmetic difference. The tape can be peeled off, but that way it matches all the other stuff on the sides that's the darker color. You can see here on the, uh, this door, I will uh, see if I can, wrong way, I know, I know, wrong way. Maybe I can describe how we, when you get ready to put these things in, you pretty much You can, uh, the gaskets are still new, difficult to shut. Pretty much you have the door shut and you set the door in and it protrudes out a little bit. And then you put this, um, put this trim ring around it and uh, even though they're self-tapping screws, go ahead and pre-drill these holes because I'm telling you, these are just not the highest quality self-tapping screws ever. So go ahead and pre-drill your holes. And then shorten your bit so you don't drill past and get anything else, but just pre-drill the holes so when the self-tapping bit goes and drills its way through, it doesn't have to work as hard and you don't bugger the tops of the threads up. You can see this one right here is a little bit roughed up looking. And that's just before I figured out, okay, I should probably pre-drill the holes. So they look all fine now. And it's, it's just not a real difficult thing to do. These doors are not the best fit in the world. Uh, I like them, they're very nice, but it could, it could be a lot better. And then you have your window that closes it down. And you look at the uh, cabinets. Yeah, look at that for a second. And then here's the other door. see is that they only have one door latch whether it be only a right door latch or left door latch because you can see from this one your deadbolts on the top and then that one deadbolts on the bottom and that one doesn't you know that one just needs a little bit of love so now you can see um, switches for everything. I don't have electricity turned on right now. But anyway, back to the doors. I'm kind of drift. Uh, go ahead and when you're putting these, uh, when you put, get, before you put these screws in, go ahead and pre-drill the holes with a smaller bit. So when you run these self-tapping screws in there, you don't have any issue and it, everything goes smoothly. So, it's, it's in there tight. There's nice and snug. There you go. I just don't like the fact that it's so tight like that, but that's the way it is. These came right from the, came out of the factory, or from the factory, right out of the box, and then uh, installed here. So, first time I've ever put in a factory door like that. It's nice that it has a window. Especially with this max fan, you can pull that up a little bit. This where it just it's just 
a little bit of a little bit of gap down there, and it's that air is gonna rush in here so fast. And it's gonna be pretty cool. All right, well, thanks for watching, uh, and leave a comment.